Hey, it's Steve Good with Richard Ellis from Electronium. We are here in the offices, because for those people who didn't know if there was really an office, there is. There is really an office. This is really an office, and we just, I came out to Maidstone for a couple of hours just to say hello, really, and hello. chat, so try to squeeze in there together. So Richard, I mean, you've been, we talked a lot, we said every time we're going to meet to another city, so here we are in another yep. city. Um, this time it's Maidstone. Yes, which not is much of a city, but... Really, uh, which is the headquarters for Electronium, or... Yes. Or Electronium is the headquarters for Maidstone. Yes, that's more like it, actually. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. All, all technologists come to, come to here, yeah, come to this building. Yeah, so um, you've got some new stuff coming out soon. Yeah, yeah. You've seen the guys working on the uh, the AnyTask beta. So they yeah, so AnyTask, you showed me a quick view of that, and that looks really yeah. cool. Um, uh, pretty exciting, actually. Yeah. It um, is very exciting. A bit of a sort of fiver on steroids. I guess you could say crypto freelancer platform. Yeah, I mean, so the remittance part takes place in uh, in ETN, but people can pay with yeah. a credit card. That's the sort of the magic of it, I think. Very cool. Bringing new value, new money into uh, into the financial economies that need it. Yeah. Anything else that's exciting and happening? Uh, uh, well, uh, you also saw over there in the corner, which is the uh, ETN Everywhere project. They're, they're and the mascot dog. There. Mascot dog, wherever <laughs> she is at the moment. No, the ETN, so what's the ETN Anywhere exactly? Uh, ETN Everywhere. Everywhere, is sorry. The, it's all right. That's anywhere and everywhere. To, it is anywhere and, it, and everywhere. <laughs> so it's to, um, it's to, to bring together uh, all the resources you need to accept ETN if you're a merchant. So it's got all of the e-commerce libraries. Uh, it's got the how to integrate with Patil. It's got the list of merchants that you're going to start seeing growing in 2020. So places, so geolocation. So where is it that I can actually uh, spend this ETN that I'm now earning? Uh, so that's all pulled together. There's a, a donation site for projects to cool. enable uh, projects to, to raise funding. There's all sorts of stuff on it, actually. It's a very, So very we're cool building stuff. an ecosystem, folks. Oh, yes. A crypto ecosystem. So here's a quick one for you, Richard. Um, you know, we said we came out of crypto winter when we got down to about three and a half ish K. Um, we probably, probably, probably are out of the winter, although it's still been kind of tough Windy. times. I mean, things haven't quite bounced back. What do you think is happening generally in the industry about moving out of this crypto winter and toward not just mass adoption? Where, where are we in terms of getting people back on board, bringing you know co contractors on board, getting more work going, starting to see more of that growth in the, the crypto space again? Because we've been kind of in this lull for a while, right? Or this yeah. kind of the lull yeah. before I mean, the I next storm. Where, yeah. Where's this? Where's the storm end and where does the excitement begin again? I think well, you know, from a speculative point of view, I'm not sure when, when that will all start again. But yeah. in terms of, uh, of of actual blockchain adoption, you know, you were out last night with some uh, some powerful guys. Yeah, uh, some very interesting people. Yeah, uh, the um, uh, Duncan Logan, uh, <clears throat> who you've seen has had an interest in Electronium for, for ages from Rocket Space. He was saying just the other day that, uh, that the whole of um, the whole of San Francisco is absolutely alive with people uh, in, in blockchain and yeah. people who have got blockchain capabilities, you know, are, are, are suddenly being poached from one company to another yeah. company. And there's this massive uh, rush to, to learn these skills. So I think the whole blockchain phenomenon is is, is setting up at the moment yeah. for a huge takeoff for the next wave. Um, and I also think that projects. Yeah. Much like ourselves, have, have, have figured out that actually you can't just make a tech and then hope that the world uses it. You, you know, to actually get things adopted, turns out you have to do some graph. There's a lot uh, more work involved uh, than and, people assume. Yeah, yeah and and yeah. actually build a reason for it to work. You need to have a technology has to solve a problem if if it's going to be adopted, and then you need to actually show people it solves it. And you have to lead people through and make yeah. sure that people can understand. So uh, what it is that it does and what benefit it brings. If, if, if something doesn't bring a benefit, you don't use it. Yeah, why bother then, right? No. Cool. So, I mean, it, yeah, it's really interesting you mentioned. I mean, I met with a number of interesting people yesterday in the city. Um, the ex, one of the ex-treasury guys from the Bank of England was there. A um, number of people in the, in the media space, some startups in crypto, some people that were ex-bankers, um, some people that are current bankers in some of the biggest, you know, investment banks. And... Um, I'll tell you what, for interesting for me, what I was hearing was that the big banks are playing with blockchain. Yeah. They yeah, are yeah. trying things out. They're trying things in exchange. They're trying things in equities. They're trying things in fixed income. They're trying things in bond markets. They're, it's complex. It's really hard because there's a lot of systems, a lot of integration points. Yeah. Um, but um, it's coming. Yeah. <laughs> I saw a lot of stuff that tells me there's a, there's a bubbling of activity coming in London. And it's just 
it's going to yeah. take some time before it moves to the next level where people start to see that adoption <laughs> yep. really occurring. I think we have to be patient. The next, uh, the next exciting thing from a pure crypto point of view, I think, has got to be uh, next May or June's Bitcoin halving that everybody's, everybody's sort of in the yeah. crypto space. That's what people are. are what do you reckon? Is that going to be like? You know what really drives Bitcoin movement up, or I, I don't. Know. It didn't do anything for Litecoin, so I kind of wondered what you thought about. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a, that's a really good, uh, a really you know. good analogy, actually. I, I don't know is the answer. You know, I, yeah. I, I'm not. I think we're optimistic about that. Economics, yeah. but yeah. Uh, what? There's been some very interesting articles out there about supply. So right. You know, uh, let's wait and see what happens. Uh, does the supply have any effect uh, on the price, or is it purely driven from? Yeah, the rewards. You know, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. We'll wait and see, won't we? Cool. Uh, but but meanwhile, you know, you saw the Fidelity news. You know, so there's there's loads of stuff going on in the market that's positive. And, yeah, for uh, sure. We see in, a lot more of the, the banks. Yeah. In the general crypto space, I think. Yeah. Uh, it, it's it's just a matter of time. But if you if there isn't people actually moving it forwards, it's not just a case of waiting. You know, we, we're all kind of waiting. I think for. For, for stuff to happen in, in crypto, but if, if everybody is happening here, if everybody no. just waits, yeah, nothing happens. So if somebody has to go out there and actually do stuff, so that's yeah. certainly you can see there's a, there's a whole bunch. You've been upstairs, you've been over. Yeah, so I mean, side, so one, you know, one thing I'll just let people know that here. don't know that. So I mean, like I've come out to Maidstone and I've seen the building where Richard has not just got one company; he's got several. And I know there's people out there that are trolling that don't believe in Electronium and where it's going. But look, there's an office of people here. I mean, look around. This is not with a sign on the wall, but this is a re this is the real deal. This is a real office, and it's a real business. And I mean, people can question whether the business is going to do the right things or not. And of course, that's that's your right to ask. But look, I made a point of coming out here to see that Richard was real because people have asked, "Is he real?" Yes, he's real. You can touch him. <laughs> I mean, I see. <laughs> he's a real person with a real team with a real dog mascot running around, which is an adorable little rescue dog called Bella, um, who. Uh, this is a little sweet little dog. And I mean, look, it's a, it's a real deal here, guys. I mean, he's got several businesses. I've gotten to meet people from multiple companies that he runs. He's been a su successful entrepreneur several times over, and I just wanted to check it out for people who've been asking. And I took the time to come out, and it was cool. I've it's had nice fun. to have you around. And we didn't get to play we, pool, but no, we'll do that next we'll time. We've drunk some tea. Yeah, we had a lot of tea. tea. Builder's tea. <laughs> and it's been an absolute pleasure to have you down cool. to the office. Well, thank you, Richard. I appreciate it. And of course, you know, keep following. We'll be covering more on Electronium. Good and stuff, yeah, exciting things Helping coming. the unbanked, so this is a special little episode for us all on the, the world of Twitter. So, thank you, Richard. Good stuff. Have a great day, everyone. All right, take care.